Okay, we're testing a 20 meter trap for a 2040 trap antenna. And I've, I've checked it the normal way. Now I'm doing a little something different here. I got my MFJ259C as a signal generator through a couple of 10K resistors so we don't load the circuit into the trap coil. Then I have my scope probe here just looped like so as a sniffer. We just lay it near the coil, let the scope sniff that signal. And here's our signal on the screen. And I'll speed the thing up here where you can see it. There's the actual signal. But I like to look at the envelope when tuning rather than the actual wave because it's a lot easier to tell what you're doing. So I'll tune the frequency of the MFJ here and we'll watch the response on the scope. There we go. And we'll peek it back up right there. Now we'll look at the frequency on the MFJ. And we're just about perfect for a 20 meter trap. You want to be just below the bottom of the band. 13.9 um, would be better, but I'll settle for this. For a uh, coaxial trap, it's not too bad. Um, and just using the scope as an RF sniffer with the little loop, look at the display. And as I vary the frequency, you can see the response on the scope. Now let's speed the trace up where we can actually see the waveform here. As I vary the frequency, you'll see the frequency vary on the scope and as well as the amplitude. So we just kind of peek him like so, and boom. Just to verify the trap, I had already tested it, and I'll post that video where I tested the trap just using a loop. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps you.